It's just been announced that testing kits which were heading for the UK have been found to be contaminated with coronavirus. The government announced that they're going to try and increase the amount of tests being carried out. They've said they're going to try and test 25,000 people every day. This has meant the government has to outsource these test kits. However, one interesting report has just come out. A production firm in Luxembourg said that core parts of their tests have been contaminated with coronavirus. This was reported by The Telegraph. It's said that this shouldn't have a massive effect on the UK testing patients. Government sources were quick to come forward with updates. They said that people shouldn't be put off by this news. However, there's still some confusion over how much testing will be going on in the UK. Cabinet Minister Michael Gove announced that the UK government aims to carry out over 10,000 tests a day. But then conflicting reports from the Public Health England said that 8,000 tests would be attempted to be carried out. The NHS then said they think they could hit the 10,000 demand a day. This testing kit has caused a stir online though, with many people coming forward and saying that it doesn't help those who are nervous, and it's likely going to cause some to question whether they should get the test done. Researchers, however, have said that we are behind on what's going on, saying the following. If you look at Korea, they have done 490,000 tests. Their death rate is 3 per million and they have suppressed the virus. We must go to mass testing and when we remove the lockdown, then we will have a controlled mechanism which will enable us to wait, without socially distancing the whole country for drugs or a vaccine for herd immunity. The World Health Organization is constantly giving us updates. They said the following. This medical product alert warns consumers, healthcare professionals, and health authorities against a growing number of falsified medical products that claim to prevent, detect, treat, or cure COVID-19. The coronavirus disease COVID-19 pandemic, caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2, has increased demands for medicines, vaccines, and diagnostics or related to COVID-19 creating an opportunity for ill-intended persons to distribute falsified medical products. Due diligence is required from all the actors in the procurement, use and administration of medical products, in particular those affected by the current crisis of or related to COVID-19. At this stage, the World Health Organization does not recommend any medicines to treat or cure COVID-19. However, the solidarity trial led by the World Health Organization is reviewing potential treatments for COVID-19. Previous outbreaks have shown that when health systems are overwhelmed, deaths from vaccine preventable and other treatment conditions can also increase dramatically. The World Health Organization has updated operational planning guidelines to help countries balance the demands of responding directly to COVID-19 while maintaining essential health service delivery protecting healthcare workers and mitigating the risk of system collapse. The international community has asked for $675 million to help protect states with weaker health systems as part of its response plan. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.